Salutations, Savages Automatic here for Automatic Games. Tonight, we're going to be playing uh, Red Dead Redemption. Potentially, I don't know, it's, it's my favorite, one of my favorite games. I'll put it that way. I don't want to say favorite. I guess I really haven't thought that through, but... But yeah, I played the hell out of this game. Um, I'm... I'm going solo, so Discord's closed. Um, however, that, that that's only because one of the biggest allures uh, regarding this game, for me, was the story. I mean, I, I truly regard it as one of the... Uh, one of the best westerns I've seen. And it's not even a movie, right? Uh, but yeah, certain aspects feel like that. Uh, the story is just really well written. I remember when it came out, what, eight years ago, I think? Because uh, I, th I think it was 2010. When it came out, uh, there were some people saying, you know, like, Grand Theft Horse, is that pretty much what this is going to be? And uh, I don't know, I, I perhaps was among them, although I was excited to see a game uh, in this genre. Uh, nonetheless, I was, I was amazed when I actually played it. Well, with no further ado, I'm not going to talk over the cutscenes or anything like that, but I will be talking during uh, regular gameplay. So, uh, oh yeah, I've got, a, got an intro for it too. So uh, we'll talk in a second. Welcome to the stream. Well, he is now. He is now. You know, I mean, there were child predators of, uh, what, in, the, in 1911, right? Had to have been. Chris, on the, on the, on the case. Oh, I cut off my intro screen too soon. So how is everyone? Man, it's been like, I don't know. It feels like it's, it's been like three weeks. Maybe two. And it just feels like three. I don't know. It's been a while. And I'm going back. Back in time. I played the hell out of this game. You know, it was like the online, all that stuff. Anyways, I'm going to shut up because the intro is, is definitely worth watching. And it would behoove me to get it on screen, too.
for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Sorry, was distracted with comments there. Hence, John Marston here standing still for for a bit. Um, they have the gall to think that I might actually enjoy that damn thing. Well, yeah, see if these. It's hit or miss. A bearded beast of a brother. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon. But uh, this is just you know it. it to me was one of those stories. Who, who's the bad guy in this? It's a queer question in the old sense of the word. It's also weird, too, running a, a dated game like this on an Xbox One. It doesn't look quite right, but well, he's having a good time. Everyone's the bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. Even the people that he befriends. Sometimes. I'm Jake. 
Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. Hey, my friends. But pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Yep, good old Red Vest McElroy over there on, on the keys, on the 88 keys. I don't know. It's a made up name. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. If you say so. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Let's go. Oh, he's getting away from me. Excuse me, engineer. Okay, cool. I was about to tell him it's Chris Hansen. He needs to move along. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. I hope I did, dearest. up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit. If you Jay, don't mind, that's funny. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an ulcerated back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Hey, drone. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> That's kind of cool, Thiers. I'd, I'd be at home, too, to be honest. Hell, I'm a Civil War reenactor. Uh, that should tell you something. Yeah. Sad or otherwise. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The first of John's inexplicable dick sayings or dick responses. He can be kind of nasty. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Keep trying to do that rear view camera. Marston, Make it more cinematic. Better than I do. <laughs> not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. Yep. There she yep. be. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Love that guy, for some reason. He's just chewing at the bit. He don't mean by, no harm by it, that's all. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, I am, I am a fan of the old westerns. Yep. Absolutely. Even some of the John Wayne stuff, I mean, you know, like despite how, well, I guess for lack of a better word, dated, you know what I mean? Um, it's not very edgy. Except for the Indian Wars aspects of some of those movies. Which is sad that that's edgy anymore, considering the, the historical validity of it. But, anyways, yeah, RJG, how the hell are you? I, I know you've been here the whole time. I don't think I, I pointed you or Liam out yet. 
or page for that matter, but I, I did try to jump into the chat there for a second. Got in a fight with your ex when it came to Fallout 4 bringing, uh, oh, bringing John Marston's gun into Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of tacky. Not the fight, but the whole bringing over that gun into it. Tarnishing my Fallout 4 experience. Huh. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, Marston did just kind of take the horse. Oh, I'm hoping the guide arranged it. You know what I mean? Maybe he paid for the horse, but they never do cover that. All right, all right. Fort Mercer. John's here on some old business. And spoiler alert, it ain't gonna be pretty. Actually, it's very pretty. I don't know how it looks, considering it is a dated game, and it looks a little pixelated, but I do remember it being astonishing for its time. You have yourself a good time. And, and this conversation that's about to transpire, I don't know, a fellow named Bill Williamson. I love me Bill Williamson. Like the cut of his jib. Howdy, Pedro. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. The vulture is just waiting. Oh, he'll, he'll pass now. But <laughs> I don't know that line. I implores you to go back and tell them to send somebody just a little more impressive. And presumably, well, not presumably, it's been confirmed. Seeing as the sequel is actually a prequel, Bill Williamson will be in that as well. Game over. Roll credits. Yeah, that was brief. But the adventure we had right up there with that scout. Whew, that was good. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. 
stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? I knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Well, I think she's pretty. Um, I know you were joking, but Peter Punk's kind of an awesome name. The zombies what eat bread and watch the circuses. So true it is. And, and pass that Nordhorn over here, too. Since we're passing it around. Okay, so it's been a while, although this game did, you know, it's a 360 game. Obviously, there's backwards uh, compatibility, so well, what surprised me is that, I guess it shouldn't have surprised me, but it kept all my settings. Like, in fact, I should have a HUD, right? I'm sure I disabled that. Let me know if you need any help. Those folks in Thieves Landing have been sniffing around here. Well, I don't have any money, do I? And this guy won't even... Won't even trade with me yet. Early game constraints, right? Well, clearly. And apparently I have the Golden Guns. Uh... DLC. I'm, I'm actually not fond of that. I, I, you know, for realism's sake, this dude's gun should not be gold at this point, considering he has. Yeah, he's broke. He doesn't have any money. He's a washed up, uh. washed up bank robber, right? Been caught and thoroughly Mr. vetted Marshall, by the authorities. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. A ram's horn. Now, now I'm talking. Now we're talking. You're talking, in fact. Took me a while to get it. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Well, I rode up to Fort Let's Mercer. Let's tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. Yeah. I mean, come on, Bonnie. What do you think that was? A cinematic? Well, that was me riding. I'm gonna make a hard left here. Whew. Just shy of the house. Ooh, JPEG didn't know that you you brewed me. So you ride as the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. It's Very gotta convenient. be I don't think I've withholding ever valuable information. And here's the corral. This 
ones for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Uh, should we really be riding on the railroad like this? It can't be good for the horse. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. For a while before we head out on patrol. You get yeah, no complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Let's head inside and fuck. <clears throat> did, I, did I say that out loud? And John, on, he's just, never mind. To oh, to rest. Yeah, I guess it's not that kind of game. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. That's funny, Dominic. And welcome aboard. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. <laughs> Holy Christ. Marson's got the uh, Midas touch. That gun that he just took from her, it's freaking gold now. You want a golden horse? No. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Is it a problem that my rifle appears to be composed of diagonal pixels? I really got to figure that out. It. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Whoa. I don't know if this game's supposed to run in 720. Maybe that's it. Come on, then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. You're better at shooting rabbits than outlaws, I see. Uh, Bonnie, don't try not to get down the range. You're making me nervous, lady. Not really. Surprised I even hit that one. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Yeah, let's. Regulators, mount up. Plenty of ground to cover. You may have if a survivable. It's not our cattle, it's the <laughs> rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. I reckon things are about to get good. Well, Liam, I... I never know what to call it. For lack of a better word, I'll call it a cafeteria. My wife and I own a cafeteria. We use own a cafe, though. 
It was brick and mortar was on the OSU's campus. Let's go. Business wasn't great. Uh, we, we shut it down several years back. Anyways, so now there's this... I, I guess you would call it an equine park. A, uh, where they do horse shows and whatnot. So I own a cafeteria there. And it's seasonal, so, you know, um, our last show is in November, so essentially I'll get December, January, February, March off, which of course you gotta plan for. Did I shoot the damn chicken? I think I did. Well, we got rid of the coyote. I just wish we'd saved all the chicken. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. I know, Jay, but in fact, can I loot them now? Can I, uh, can I skin these? No, I can't, because it's still kind of on tutorial mode. That, Come on. Hmm, I wonder if those carcasses will stay. Because you know, I already noticed. Actually handle a rifle. It's he doesn't have a dollar to his name. In. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for <laughs> Darn sure. Darn Deaton. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Whoa there. Come on, what? Slow down. There we go. Uh, thank you. Makes me kinda happy. I see RJG, you good looking out. Just ram, ran, uh, sorry. Just learning to read. Bear with me. I just randomly stumbled upon your stream to get hyped for RDR2. Hell yeah. And I'm taken aback by your golden radio voice. That's right, folks. And I want to spend a, send a special shout out to Dominic K. I appreciate that. I was trying to think of a song to dedicate to a woman on your behalf, but yeah, I failed. Couldn't think of a damn song. Hey, so I wonder, um, this is way early for my first break, so I don't want to go to sleep yet, because essentially what I've done is this. If you've played Red Dead Redemption, you know there are some odd missions. Um, I don't think it's a spoiler to say, like, the ghost woman, the woman that's quite obviously some kind of ghost or something. Uh, the Things like that. They almost seem like they should have belonged in the DLC, Undead Nightmare. Or hell, Lucifer himself, right? Because I'm convinced that, that there's a man that he meets. I'm convinced, and I think a lot of people are, that it's, that it's Satan. Or something. Um, anyways, those kind of missions and the uh, and the DLC, that is to say, Undead Nightmare. I'm just gonna show little bits and pieces of the cinematics as my standby screens, if that makes sense. So, like when I get up to do whatever it is I need to do, get a drink. Uh, you know, relieve myself of liquid, uh, smoke a cigarette, whatever. I'm just going to play a pre-recorded Undead Nightmare mission. Oh shit, let's try to skin those, uh... If they're still here, let's look for the bunny rabbits first. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using as my standby screens. That way I'm kind of covering Undead Nightmare 2, but we'll almost treat it as a literal nightmare. Like, when he goes to sleep, I'll take a break. Oh, yes, theorists, I'm still still in the 19th century myself. Oh, shit, actually, they probably didn't smoke a lot of cigarettes in the 19th century. I bet that was more pipes, right? And stogies. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dominic. Welcome aboard, man. I wish I had something nice to give you, but... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Undead Nightmare was good. However, it, 
what I was thinking about like how I was going to do that, and I thought. I don't want to stream Undead Nightmare because, despite how much I, I like the cutscenes and and the uh, well, the whole ambience of it, it could get monotonous when you're fighting the, the zombies, you know. Especially when you were trying to save the towns, and I thought, like, I don't want to stream that necessarily. So then I it dawned on me, like, well, rather than put up standby screens. Just uh, pre-record Undead, Undead Nightmare. So as I'm playing this now, I haven't played the main story for quite some time. Messed around with it so I could film that intro. But I did play Undead Nightmare. And that, you know, certainly goes a ways to familiarize yourself with the controls again, right? So that worked out. I'll still fuck up. Brace for it. Take a feather. There we go. This will give us some starting funds. Maybe I'll play some poker. <laughs> we should drive away viewers. <laughs> but we'll see. Speaking of Lucifer, you folks hear about the hideous horse at our international airport. I i don't know if I've heard of that or not, but it sounds familiar. Lucifer. Giant blue. It's like the chupacabra of your area, I guess. You stink. They need to remaster it. Yeah, absolutely. e will set me free. No, I don't believe it. I think they'll blow up in your face, Otto. See? See, there's always... There's always the naysayers. This is dirty. <laughs> I'm scared, RJG. Now, I mean, that was convincing. Reading it, uh, you should have heard the voice I heard in my head. Okay, I think this is the last coyote. Be a great name for a broken movie. <laughs> I just got that. Hello, Dominic K. Would you please take a seat? Like, like this is like uh, therapy or something. I'll tell you what, though. If this is therapeutic, we're, we're all fucked. We're dead. I was wondering why those chickens didn't look skinned, but yeah, I guess we just take a feather from them. I don't know what's wrong with, like, chicken breasts. That'd be alright. Okay, well, I'm not going to patrol on, this place. That's what that yellow X is. It's my option to be kind of kind of like their night watchman. I feel like I just did that with Bonnie. That being the case, we'll hitch up. I'll take a quick break. And we'll see something either from Undead Nightmare or from one of the just odd missions that's in the vanilla game. Uh, yep, that's what we'll do here. Nah, see, I did that wrong. I should have made it seem like he went to sleep and... Well, you get what I'm saying. Anyways... Folks, I will be right back. Uh, if you gotta go for the night, then uh, I, I hope I hope you uh, you do well. Be good. Uh, if not, I hope to see you after the break. Yeah, that's true, Dominic. I remember that. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these 
these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure. Bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? your flowers, Billy. Well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right. Maybe just for a minute. This is my other half. Lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This is a man help me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and a good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Uh, Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle... Baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. I labeled it Undead Nightmare, <laughs> but that's not Undead Nightmare. <laughs> Why would you want to disable the skinning animations? <laughs> nice. Yeah, Nacho, welcome aboard, man. Good to see you. <laughs> you reckon she's... <laughs> I don't know. I think she's got to tell, personally. Can't I say hi to... Yeah, I can say hi. That's right. Didn't do much of that in Undead Nightmare. Have yourself a fine day, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> said the same shit I did. She knows what a... It's a hell of a diet she's got going on. Oh, damn. No cards. Well, I guess that means it's back to Bonnie. I, I don't rightly recall. Hell oh, yeah, Nacho. I look forward to seeing that. Oh shit, I could... Do I want to sell stuff yet? I think I do. And look at John, he's excited to go sell stuff. Will you do business with me now? Still gonna yes he will. Hello, okay, sir. Good. I hope you see something you need. He was discriminating against me before. He was acting like I was a pleb. Okay, I got some shelf space needs filling. Nice doing business with you. Isn't there a sell all? Hey there. 
No. Spread the no, word. there isn't. Can Otto hold his liquor? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that to answer your question, but you know, I can, but I also can't. It really depends. What are we what are we drinking and how much? I'd say you got yourself a bargain there. And if we're drinking crown, like in Coke, I I might get carried away. I mean, that's that's not my drink of choice. I've been all over the all over the board in terms of what drinks I've preferred. I've, even for a while there, watching old movies, I was like, I wanna have an old fashioned, right? Because like they're always like, get me an old fashioned. So I'm like, what the hell is that? I want one. Went to the local watering hole my wife and I uh, frequented at the time, and the bartender's like, I haven't made one of those like easily 20 years. But she knew what was in it. I think it was gin and bitters. Anyway, cutscene. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Reticence, well, la di da All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. I do remember this. I am going to lose this race. Giddy up! Because there was some kind of glitch, I've... I don't know. I remember falling into a canyon more often than I should have. Like it almost forced me into it or something. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! If she thinks by losing I'm gonna be a gentleman, then she's too kind. Because it's straight up incompetence, Bonnie. That's what's gonna win ranger. you this race. I wait for you to catch up. And I know I'm thundering ahead right now, but that will be short lived. If not, I just I just hope you'll be as surprised as I. Especially with the hut off. I'm just following this road. I mean, there are, there are the giant plumes of smoke that certainly helps, but like this. Where is she? Oh shit. What are you doing back there? Oh damn. Are you saving that... the best for last? I don't remember if that was the bridge. I, I bet you're starting bigger. to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Come on. I might eat my words, which in this case would be a shh, nope, nope, yeah. nope, Slow that's up. not how it's done. Don't go easy on 
If you come here for a tutorial, you can just stop right now. There, Let's go. that's the bridge. I don't know, maybe they fixed it. Oh uh, yeah, I might I might actually pull this off. Get out of the way. God, that was close. Someone should really erect horse crossing signs here. Come on! Yeah, we did it. Unless I'm kinda of killing my horse, but Bam, bitch. Eat that shit. Thanks for your hospitality. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. <laughs> I hate to see you go, but love to watch you leave. Classic. Monkey Mayhem Orange. That makes sense. I had no idea that's what MMO stood for. Who exactly lit all those fires? <laughs> yeah, why, why? I don't know. You would think that my horse would turn into like a... Uh, a hell horse. It's, I don't know. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, Mr. Shit. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> well, if she was naked, people Hop would get up, it. Mr. Marston. Okay, anyways. Uh, no worries, you didn't pay for it. Kill away. <laughs> winner, winner, Hanson dinner. <laughs> uh, reminds me of that. You'll pay for this. No, I just gotta pay for this. <laughs> I'm out of Hanson. Out of Hanson. Classic and classy. Women love that line. Honest engine. <laughs> Oh, I gotta read these before I say it. It's not bad. Uh, we have lost my business. What console? You're much this better, is considering you were almost Xbox One. A couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, Miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, Miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. <laughs> Let's I see if I can steer this thing in cinematic. Right. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really or will I, I plow into so something? Peculiar outlook. I can't really say I yep. understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. What are the two theories? Uh, gamer tag, same, same as the channel, same as you do. I'm consistent, I at least. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side oh, of the look road at this. and now you're driving me into town. The hell kind of ghetto fools are these? Come on. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. Get over to the right. They're gonna make me do this. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Deliberately like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. Pull over for a second. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Howdy. Let's get moving. 
moving. I want to get to Armadillo Lucid before dream. Sunday. Hell yeah, I am. Hell yeah. That, that actually, that's what brings me here. Um, but yeah, welcome aboard. Pieces of Hanson. Sounds like a band. Um... Or wasn't there a band called Hanson? Or maybe it seems like the dismembered pieces of them. Anyways, yeah, gamer tags the same. Red Dead 2. Woo! Yes. Yes. That's woo! Can't be too loud. Um. There are six. You funny bugger. Hello. Yeah, just funny looking. Mmm, pop. That's right. Oh yeah, GT Gamer Tag. Yeah, live. it's the it's the same. It's the GT up great play. Across the board, I yeah. am automatic. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. I like that. Uncle. Laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. You go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. about coming down here many times but never made it who's we me and the folks i used to used to work with yeah new austin the last real outlaw country where the old ways still hold true do a man wrong he'll shoot you for it do a man right well he still may shoot you for it but at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there dear oh dear mr marston what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cards. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. Ha! Ah. Ha! Let's see, before we stop... Oh, they're coming back for another tour, thank God. Thank God. Wow. Oh, someone's got to upload that. Cause that's that's going to be a long do, and a half. <laughs> Why did he hesitate with work with? Because uh, they were bank robbers. Um, he, you know what? I guess he, that's a spoiler, isn't it? He, didn't, he hasn't really said that yet. He's only, he's only mentioned that he was he rode with Bill Williamson, but Bill Williamson, he's not small fry, but he was not the leader of the gang. Um, so at, at the beginning of the game, are those guys FBI, Edgar Ross, and whoever the other agent is? I don't know if they're FBI or what, but some kind of agency, you get that, Pinkerton or whatever. Um, they have tasked John with going after his, his former... Gang mates. I guess he's keeping that close to the vest with her, although he did kind of... I don't know why he hesitated, to be honest. Or why he framed it that way. Work with... So this rather is Armadillo. than... Manhattan with or whatever. Is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. You mean Herbert Moon's general store? Yes, she does. Herbert Moon. That, that's a character. Um, Playing on Xbox One. Lucid? Yep, Liam is a good guy. He's one of the good ones. <laughs> that 
is funny, Liam. That's funny as hell. I just hope, you know, if you are going around sniping people, I hope with me you could be so kind as to cross me off your list, lay back, put on some lipstick. I don't know. There's a reference there. The whole town needs my expertise today. It's like one big graveyard. I should open a branch of it. Yeah, Pinkertons, yeah, w weren't they the precursor to the FBI? Although, some, I believe they were private, weren't they? I'm not, not positive about that. I know there was Alan, was it Alan Pinkerton during the Civil War? Controlled like the spy ring? I don't know. When are we doing more Sea of Thieves? I, I could do it. Later this week, for sure. So I do want the medicine, because that's free, but I don't really want anything else from this, this fellow. Billy Madison, you... You... He guessed it. So they coalesced into the... Yes, yes, there was a certain breeding going on. And from that... The Pinkertons became the FBI, or the CIA, or... I don't know. I'm taking Bonnie into that hotel, and it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, you watch. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Yeah, there, there should be. There should be. A western, uh... Exploring the Pinkertons a bit. That would be dark. Ah, but yes, Liam. You can post the link. Is that Herbert Moon? Hey, Herbert. Hey. How are you, mister? Hello. Good to see you, sir. You push me. Okay, I, I really don't want to cause trouble, do I? Because I mean, really, that just creates a pain in the ass, so. We can play poker. And I know that would be boring to watch, but at some point, I am going to play it. Uh, just, just forewarning, just so you know when to log off. Um, but I don't know when. We'll see. I'd almost prefer sooner than later, because, you know, while I need the money. <laughs> if, if I do alright, I, I won't really need the cash. So how are we doing on cash, anyways? Fifty-three dollars. That is barely. I think. I can't recall. Is that room up there? Is it fifty? Or is it eighty? And that would kind of suck, because that only gives me a few bucks for beer, although I could go out hunting. 50, so I can't afford it. That's almost worse news than 80. Hmm. Gotta do some thinking. There we go. Once upon a time, there was a guy that wanted to actually preach in the ancient web. My pleasure, Liam. Um, oh, shit. Is right. It's the end of the world as we know it. I'm still fine. All right. Let's see. If I purchase the room, there'll be no poker, and I can't get drunk off my ass. 
Okay, screw it. No, I can go talk to the sheriff. He'll give me some kind of work, I would imagine. At least I think that mission's available. Yeah. Yeah, because she said, go see Marshall Johnson. I, I guess he's not a sheriff then. I stand corrected. Marshall Johnson. Excellent voice actor for that guy. And the shame is, in Undead Nightmare, that was the one cast member they didn't get back. It was the guy that voiced Marshall Johnson. But yeah, I love this dude. So many fine characters in this game. I mean, shit, I even kind of like Edgar Ross, the, the, the Pinkerton or FBI guy. I, it is almost a love-to-hate kind of deal, obviously, but... But yeah, in terms of the quote-unquote authorities, Marshall Johnson takes the cake. He's, he's, he's cool. I, I would have gone for the girl. I would have. But... As, as, as if to be further evidence that what happened here... Is that a... Is a dead horse. Is there somebody on it? Or is that just... A stir? Yeah, it's a stir. Okay. I'll tell you the things you see. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in terms of the girls, um, if they ask or they try to solicit him, because some of them do, in very risque uh, uh, terms. Anyways, he always replies, "I'm a, I'm a married man," because he is. He's got a wife and kid. I guess he's an honest man. Gotta at least give him that. Cutscene. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting kicked with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore, dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're... Happy to have him out there. Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. 
What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. Did I already mention that, that I'm infatuated with Marshall Johnson? I think I did. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Enamored might be a better Let's word. Bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. So that's Walton. Of the Walton game. Out, Marston. Walton's our man. Why? Because I whistled? He knows we're following him? That's shit. My other option was to run back to the uh, marshal's office. Come on! Then... Oh, there. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang has been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Ooh, now. Man, dude, I should say, I'm only here for Bill Williamson. I don't know who this Walton guy is, let's be honest. But the cut of this marshal's jib compels one to, to let themselves be deputized. Hold up, Marshal. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Let's do that. Sam Walton. <laughs> really? Looks like we got company, boys. Damn! Take cover! We'll work our way up this hill. And you, you, you're telling me there's a Marshall, Walmart up there? Alright, I'll lead the wagon. way. Hell, Marshall, I don't even see him. Marshall?
There may be more of them. I'm Let's headed to the outhouse. The hell's back door, Walton. Be careful. Oh my Do you want to die? You couldn't hit a bull's ass with a back full of banjos. Walton's inside the house. Take him alive if you can. Okay. Gonna... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna take him alive. I didn't realize he was about to. My bad, Marshall. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marson. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Goodbye, Marshal. Yeah. I love you. Er, I'm just saying. And now we take this Walton to be tortured. Uh, that was crazy. I, I honestly I could have planned that better, but it's not what I wanted to do. So shucks. Can it? Could it hit a bull's ass with a basket full of banjos? Is that from a movie, or did somebody just say that in this game? Because if so, I didn't catch it, but that's that's epic. So, somebody's out there shooting quite a bit. Should I be concerned about that or interested? Those horses, those are those are crazy horses. Let me uh Eh fuck it. I don't doubt it, Dave. <laughs> I truly do. With a basket full of banjos. Where the fuck did that, did that come from? That's. Oh shit! I want to. I want to shoot that buck. Watch out, folks. Oh, I, I gotta watch my backdrop, my backstop, whatever. Shit. Uh, way too early, Otto. I gotta kill Bambi's mother, too. Okay, good. Oh, SJW warning. Uh, you're not gonna like the animal killings and skinnings and whatnot. And if you do like it and you're an SJW, then hang in there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Yeah, so that's that's a lot of gunpowder. You stink. Hey, DJ, welcome aboard, man. Nor can I. I'm stoked, for sure. You know, even if they. Uh, because obviously people are talking about what the online is going to be like, especially with GTA Online, right? But if they do a solid single player, which Rockstar tends to do, I'd be, I'd be satisfied with just that. Though, uh, I mean, full disclosure, I will be playing the ship out of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. No question. Where is the gunfire coming from? You know what? Screw it. I don't, I don't care. Music has intensified. 
Well, actually, there wasn't music before this, but... I must be close. If only John Marston had a HUD. He does. He does. If any of you are unfamiliar with this game, yeah, there, there is a HUD. I just... I had just kind of hoped I could play this without the HUD. We'll see how well that goes. I very well may come across overwhelming odds and decide, you know, screw it, let's turn the HUD on. Having said that, I'd probably shut it back off afterward. What do we got here? Slow down! You look cold, stranger. Care to warm up by the campfire? Uh, y'all mind if Otto joins you and checks up on his comments? I know, right? I don't know where that gunfight was. With a HUD, I probably would have known, but... Has the world at his feet. Go on. He could have gone anywhere when they attacked Griffin's mansion, but he chose to stay and fight. He must have known it would be suicide, but he was there with Red Harlow right until the end. Red Harlow? Holy shit, that guy... That guy just mentioned Red Harlow, the protagonist in Red Dead Revolver. Because he said, you know, something about when they were storming Governor Griffith's mansion. That that was a thing. That was the last, I think it was the last level in Red Dead Revolver. I like that they do that. Give, give a nod to that. Uh, a few different campers will tell stories about Red. That's quite some story, friend. Hell yeah, diversity. Uh, I might do the same thing, to be honest. I mean, no shit, this, this is one of my favorite games. One of my favorite westerns. Just despite it not being a movie. Shit, he's still talking about Red Dead Revolver. Huh. Oh well. If we wanted to know about that, we'd be playing that. So, let's see, did I get any money? Because if I did, then that bodes well. I could probably afford the room, get a few drinks. Don't think I can afford poker. Unless I just, you know, I mean, there is the idea that I don't get the room. I, I kind of just put everything on poker and <laughs> see what happens. I, I don't know. is happening out here. Holy shit. I forgot about that stuff. Hey, Waltons. We just got your boss. And now, it's your turn. Killed your horse. I'm a dick. Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, well, folks, to be honest. Oh, right on, Javid. Dude, thanks for coming by. Dude, it's only because I'm playing a Western. Be well, man. Oh, I started to watch your Phoenix Point. Um, haven't finished it yet, but... Catching up, man, catching up. Looks good so far. Anyways, be well. And thanks, Javid. Good looking out. No, I am your real dad. Oh, Jape, it's your real dad. That's true, too. You have two fathers. It's precarious. It's strange. We were ahead of our time. Actually, I can skin the horse? <laughs> I think I, if I knew that before, I certainly forgot it. Hey, good, good people. 
Um, anyways, I'm about to skin this horse in front of him. Well, that dude says, well, damn. I done seen it all. Mom didn't complain at the time. <laughs> no, no, she didn't. <laughs> well, I think the Walton gang is a little smaller. I uh, mean, we torched their leader. Just took out four, what is that, four or five of them? Four. Of course you can exchange your green Who's just a boy? But you don't want to do that. What's up, Good lady? Hello. Heavens above. I'm a terrible mother. What are you talking about? Can I talk to you? Is this a... Uh... Sorry. My bad. I'm out. My... See you. What's the theory? I'm curious. Ninety-six dollars. Sweet. We can do all of the above. We start with acquiring a room here. Give us a, a second, uh, a second fob of a base of operations. Yes. Yes, this will do nicely. <laughs> the Waltons. Good night, John Boy. I should have said that while I was shooting him. Shit. The clever lines always come too late. What if Arthur Morgan is related to John Larson? I mean, that means... Well, I mean, they couldn't be brothers, right? Because different last names, unless one's an alias. Now, and, and John Marston is in Red Dead Redemption 2. That's for sure. And so is his wife and, and uh, what, Jack. Abigail and Jack. I do kind of wonder what, what part Arthur Morgan's going to play. I guess they're, they're saying he's an enforcer for Dutch. Dutch is, for those who don't know, the, the leader of the old gang. Bill Williamson, John Marson, and all them rode around in. Dutch is awesome. He's a bad guy, right? He, he's definitely the antagonist. But, uh... He's just another one of those characters that just has has good writing behind him. What's the rush there? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Look, I'm not racist. I accidentally bumped into you, man. I mean, he didn't accuse me of it, but I know these guys are. I know they are, I can tell. Oh shit. Card game. Mmm, it's tempting how much? 25. 44. Nah, folks. Um, tell you what, I hear the train. I wonder which way it's hit. Because I'm actually considering taking the stage back to. Uh, shit, what is Bonnie's Ranch? McFarland. Yeah, McFarland Ranch. 
And rather than take the stagecoach, I think we can just hop on the train. I can't recall if they charge you, do they? They should. It was kind of stupid. I rented a room there. Now I'm leaving. Got a half mind to rethink my, uh... My plan here. As I say that, I continue... Oh! It's not... Oh, it is a passenger train. What, are they going to charge me for entering? Awesome. Super. Guess I'll take a seat. I figured it would say, like, sit, $8. You know, like, that's where they get you. You're already aboard. Like, oh, well, but you can't sit. They do look similar. You're right. Fight him. I should have, Liam. And I'm still on the fence as to, like, whether or not I'm going to be, uh... Whether or not I care about honor in this playthrough, there's part of me that's so tempted to be honorable the whole time. But, damn, it's so fun to put on a bandit's mask and hold people up at the same time, you know? Rob a, rob a fucking train or whatever. Force these fuckers to, to put together a posse. You know, general mayhem. Yeah, as opposed to colonel mayhem. Pretty sure everyone in there is racist, to be honest. Let's be fair. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably true. Look at the CD cover in both Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. They look so similar. Uh, that could be interesting. I'd be kind of cool to make John Merson play like a, more of a pivotal role. Now certainly, uh, you're going to see what... How does... I'm almost confused about the story in this game. When he relates the tales of his past to other people, I know he's separated from the gang, whether by his own choosing or because they left him behind. Or I, I hear some people say like, no, you left us or whatever. Uh, certainly had something to do with the serendipity of the uh, casino boat, the riverboat. We're certainly going to see that play out, I would think. We see that gang get put together, or maybe not get put together. We, we kind of jump in midstream. I don't know. I'm hypothesizing now, but... I am so confident that we're going to see it all unravel, you know? We're going to see that gang fall apart. Oh, raised in the same orphanage. That's that's a good angle. I like that. I forgot. He was raised in an orphanage, wasn't he? That's a good call. <laughs> Jolene makes it look good. Just make it survive. Now, they are taking me to McFarland's Ranch, right? Yeah. I think we would have switched tracks right back there otherwise.
Oh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hello there, miss. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You watch out. <laughs> oh, I thought I could knock him over and shit, right? Maybe she's she's just too good for that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, we're gonna do a physics test. Not very uh Yeah. She will not fall down. Why do I seem to recall that char you could just knock characters around? They get all ragdoll or whatever. I'm not getting in you, Celestial. Getting in character there, that's not me. That's not my true... And why is the bull right here? <laughs> I don't want to shoot Bonnie's bull. Fuck. It's coming in here? John just wants to get back to his bed. He's sick of this bull. I, I better close the door and board up the windows. Oh shit, I can't close the door. Ma uh, made up spoiler? Sure, why not? Three sides to every story. His side, her side, and the truth. It sounds about right, dude. Sounds about right. At the risk of losing <laughs> your patronage, I am going to take another break. Cause it's about an hour since my last. Um... So, yeah, in the meantime, while I'm gone, I'll just play footage of another one of those strange missions or an undead nightmare mission. Uh, not the whole mission, just the cinematics. Either way, if you got to go in my absence, I hope you have a, a good one. And if you uh, stick around, I will see you on the other side. Mister, I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but no Sasquatch running around here, nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Down in Manzanita Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Killed them. Kill the bastards before they kill all of us. Kill them. Kill them. I ain't afraid of you, you dumb, hairy bastard. Shoot me, human! Shoot me! Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. You'll be granting me peace. Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? What in the name of all the traits are you talking about, human? 
You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. Last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family is gone. My kind is gone. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. I couldn't shoot him. I, did, I didn't have the heart for it. Besides, what you don't see is it's John Marston, the one that's going around killing all the Bigfoots. So that's like the last one that you come across, the last Sasquatch. So, of course, John felt like shit. But certainly you could have killed him. Shit, I, I might as well hitch my horse. I think I'm just going to go... Do something else for Bonnie. Uh, use wanted posters to begin hunting a bounty target. And it's tempting. But I'd like to focus on story and getting money. Of course, yeah, bounty target does mean money. I wonder how much. <laughs> Let's inquire, shall we? So what if you, Arthur Morgan, gets killed by John Marson and then you play as John? See, that'd be interesting. Um, it's, I, I hate to give spoilers for this game, but at the same time, it is, what, eight years old, so, that would, sure? that would certainly be good, in good faith, with, with their writing, you know what I mean, mistake, but, hey. I don't know, I don't know if they do that, have you played John Marston again? Twenty dollars? Seriously? Is that the hanging rock? I don't know offhand where that is. Twenty dollars alive. So that's supposing that I have a lasso. I don't think I do. I don't. Or or could I just shoot him in the knees? Is that I don't know. I'm half inclined to wait for for the lasso. Play prawn. <laughs> Play prawn. All the porn. I wonder if prawn was that meant to be porn? How many times has that been said? That line right there. Was that meant to be porn? Have you ever watched something and asked yourself that at the end? Was that meant to be porn and they cleaned it up at the last minute? Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh. Call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, 
I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. All right. Huh. So, yeah, there's that backstory. Orphanage it is. Hey, Liam, I would suppose that you're gone, but... Thanks for coming by, man. Much appreciated. Right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Come on. Anyways, always good to see you, man. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Shut your face, Clyde. Easy now. Whoa. Heard the cow. Oh, they're going that way. Well, that's peculiar. Why wouldn't you just take them out the gate that I was fed? <clears throat> Heard the cows down the road. Pretend you know what you're doing. Okay. Pretend I know what I'm doing. Move! Move! Come on. Did we miss any? Okay. I mean, I know what will speed him up. That's right! Run, you bovine fuckers! Get! Get!
I mean, they're cooperating now, aren't they? I've got witnesses, a couple. He's just showing off now. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay, Bonnie. Have you ever fired your pistol in the air, Bonnie? Check it. Oh, shit. Well, they need to be spooked. You know, you want a nice neighborhood, you gotta spook the kids. Haven't you ever heard that? I mean, I'm not suggesting you go out and you fire a pistol in the air in front of kids. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. A cow in a past life. <laughs> that Bonnie, I tell you. She, she is just a hoot. Anyways. If we're not having burgers, I've got no reason to be here any longer. Notice I said burgers over steaks. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I've got to rethink some things. I think I'll do that back at the ranch. So Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually supposed to, from what I understand, include New Austin and, uh, God, what else do we have out here, right? I forget. Yeah, I, I don't know. Can't be sure, but it almost seems like it's going to include all this stuff. Certainly it's got black water in it. Me, I say that's pretty damn cool. I like, I like it. Now I'm wondering if I'll stream everything. Uh, I might do you know, like not do missions, but just try to improve uh, the characters' loadout and stuff like that off stream. Um, in terms of playing story. I might call it right there and just switch to gambling. So uh, yeah, if you're if you're just wanting to see story now, now might be a good time for you to get forty winks or something because I don't know that I'm going to show anymore. I'm going to try to to get him some more money, or I'm going to lose a ton of money. The only thing is, there's no place to drink here. Usually after a card game, I. We've been waiting. I got paid not Damn, there's four of them, though. That's tempting. How much is it, boys? Ten dollars. That's not too much. I've got 49. That means I could go to Blackwater and play for 25. What the hell? What, what, are, what are those called again? A jackalope? There's the jackalope. Oh my lord! It's all going to hell! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was their jackalope? They killed my jackalope! Shit, I mean, am I gonna get a wanted level here? You know what? If a if a lawman comes to arrest me, fine. I'll just I'll go peacefully. But where is that dude that was shooting at me? I mean, I don't want to kill the guy, but I wouldn't mind disarming him. What the hell happened there? There's a deputy.
That's weird. I almost want to go back at some point and see what transpired. I think uh, that might have been the dude that was shooting at me. Somebody else, somebody else killed him. Maybe the lawman. I don't know. Fucking weird. Weird stuff. Weird wild stuff. Okay. Well, it's it's to Armadillo I go. I can't remember what the name of this canyon is off to our right, but Let's go. I know in multiplayer I didn't mind getting to Armadillo via that route. But I know in this game there's another box. Oh, yeah. A couple of them. I don't want to shoot the other one because I just I don't think I can find his corpse. on, yes, I would be able to, but again, I don't concern myself with that job. Maybe it's still in the area. Shit, did I skin the jackalope? I don't think I did, but... Oh, well. Whoa there. I think that bug's gone. That's funny, it's still rattling. Death Rose. No, it's another one. Well, that makes more sense. Come on, walk, John. You can do it. Hearing a lot of gunfire. Come on. It's coming from over here. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Was a mistake, sir, and you, where are you going? You can stop. Right. Howdy, partner. Yeah, I shot that dude in the balls. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. I can yep. use a little luck. Not bad. I'll take that, fame-wise. To the victor, the sport. Uh, I suppose that helps with the honor, too. Again, I don't I don't get why killing the jackalope was so offensive to that guy. Let's go. 
I don't think that hurt my honor. I don't know. I guess I didn't notice. But lighting Walton on fire, that that damaged my honor for sure. Even though he was a piece of shit. I guess it's just one of those cases. Shit, man. Where it's like, yeah, you hear somebody rode out there and took down Walton. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, they lit him on fire. Oh shit. Fuck those guys. Could have played out like that, I don't know. I wasn't there. What is this? Another campsite? Come and sit down. Rest your weary feet, nah. Looks like you two are on some kind of date or picnic. I don't know. I start camping with them next, next thing you know. I'm, I'm taking off with this lady. He's shooting at me. Shit, I don't know. One thing I'm liking about the sequel is a uh, bow and arrow. That'll be kind of nice. I always wanted one, especially in uh, multiplayer. Howdy. You know, like you'd take on the skin of, uh, God, what was uh, the native's name from Red Dead Revolver? Something wolf, gray wolf or some shit. I don't know. But when playing as him or any of the, uh, uh, I guess, Apache or Comanche, in the game, I always wanted the bow and arrow. I mean, I know it's 1911, and they've got plenty of rifles by then. Who's... <laughs> what did I miss? How are you, mister? Whoa there. Dribbled out of your mouth, count for an anecdote in these parts. All right, there. Just not like hearing this particular permutation of diarrhea, verbalis. Oh, somebody stabbed a prostitute. You know that that does tend to happen in this game. The hookers are always getting impaled by something or another. Okay, folks. So that does it for story. I'll be streaming uh, again soon. I'm not ending the stream. In fact, I'm just going to gamble now. And after gambling, I'm not going to do any more missions. So, uh, Unless you want to stick around and watch the, uh, the poker game... Uh, you know, you, you might want to leave if you don't want to be bothered with that. Unless, of course, I'd only be playing poker against one person. Fuck that. Guess I'll go sleep and come back, see if it, see if it changes. But if you are clocking out, thanks for watching. This has been Automatic for Automatic Games, and I hope to see you again soon. If you're sticking around, great. Let's lose some money in poker. I kind of wonder what Red Dead Redemption 2 will have, sorry bud, uh, in terms of mini games, like anything above and beyond what they have here. One could only presume that they would, but then what would that be? Talk amongst yourselves. No dream sequences, time, because I don't need a break.
That must be the number 11. I only know that because I think it's the only trade. Ah, uh, look at her. Tell you what, the ladies in this uh, establishment are talented. They can defy gravity. No harm done. Perfect. Perfect. You know, why is it perfect? Because that's Herbert Moon in the middle, and I'd like to take him for all he's worth. Yes! Sure. <laughs> okay, so 250 chips uh, is tantamount to $25. I'm gonna skip help. Why can't people just go shopping like they used to? Them bean eaters got a right old civil war brewing, sure. sure. I don't know. We'll call. Call you. There we go. Got ourselves a pair of aces. It figures. I'm done. Yeah, we'll call. I mean, shit. Call for me. Looks like you might have me on this one. Yeah, Herbert, I hope that I do. Herbert Moon folds. That's nice. He threw a lot of money in. Oh, uh, now, God, all I have is a pair of bases. Is there any way he could have a flush or anything? I guess if he had a 10 and a jack. You know what? I'm going to risk it. This might not be a long poker game. So now I have two pair. Aces and nines. Fucking full house. Fucking full house. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Wow. Wow. I had kind of given myself like even even an hour, 45 minutes, just just set aside to to play poker. And I just lost. I can I can afford to play again, but I don't have much more than that. Oh, son of a bitch! If I was going the dishonorable route, I'd shoot these two. I can't shoot Herbert Moon, because he appears later. I mean, I could. I could kill him, but I don't know how they make that play out. I'll tell you what, I'm desperate. I'm just going to start going through drawers. I mean, they're not paying attention. What'd we find? Nothing? No money, bullets, panties, nothing? Pathetic. Still defying gravity, but now at least she's facing the right way. Lady. I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, she's... Well, that sucks. That sucks. That just threw some fucking money away. Good to see you, my dear. Look out, lady. Well, now we're just gonna get stoned. Because things shit has not gone according to plan. Would you tell the piano player to turn it down, please? Yeah, fuck it. Just give me another. I wonder what we're drinking anyways. It's certainly a nondescript bottle, right? Keep him coming. We're going to be stumbling out this door and sleeping in the street. That's our goal. We do not want to collapse inside the bar. We want to get outside the door. If we do that, we win. Mission over. Doesn't matter how much money we lost at poker in one freaking hand. Oh, 
Fuck, give me another one, bud. I've got golden gums. Yeah, John, you can go for more. Come on, stop playing games. Oh, never mind. He's not playing. There we go. Gotta get outside. We can do this. We can do this. Excuse me. How's the weather out there, bud? Come on. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Come on, John. Pull it together. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. But hey, I know how I know how you're feeling, dude. I know exactly how you're feeling. Tell me about it. It's night of the living drunks. Instead of brains, oh, <laughs> let's just cuddle, dude. Let's just cuddle. We're gonna be okay. You're my new best friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, folks. I don't want to spoil a good thing. Even though I'd set a, a, aside time to, to gamble for up to an hour, I, I think I am going to call it a night. This is a good place to call it a night. What did you say? In fact, I probably should have stopped it while I was still on the ground. Yeah, shit. Anyways, I will go ahead and save the game, and uh, I'll get back to it. I'm going to play through this entire thing because, well, except for the Undead Nightmare, of course I'm going to show you pertinent parts of that as my break screens. But yeah, I'm going to play the entire vanilla game. Um, not going for all the achievements or 100% completion, I just, I, I just want to get through the main story. Um... To prep myself for Red Dead Redemption 2, of course, which comes out next month. Doesn't it? Yeah, it comes out in October. That's awesome. That's fucking cool as hell. Anyways, I do appreciate anybody that took the time to, uh, to watch here. Um, it's always greatly appreciated. And I know I've been on a bit of a hiatus lately, but... I do not have a gig this upcoming weekend, so that means I've got I've got time, and I most certainly will be using a lot of that time in the evenings, that is, to stream. So I do hope to see you in the future. If not, thanks for your time, and, and have a good one, and if so, I look forward to it. As always, folks, this is Automatic for Automatic Games. Thanks for watching. If you like this, like this, and if you're subscribed, I will talk to you soon, friends. Good night.